What's up everybody? This is your girl Miss Terrell. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Be sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. Y'all. <laughs> y'all like my new little setup? I told y'all I was working on stuff. If you're part of the warrior community, then you know what I'm talking about. But I told you I was definitely working on stuff. So my scenery seems to be a little different, you know. You know. Just want to give y'all a little corner to chat with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So get whatever's in your cup. So that way we can go ahead and get with this tea talk. Now, if you're interested in, in any of the extended tea talks, that is available in our warrior community. That is available on Patreon. Our dream entrepreneurship webinar will be on Thursday February 4th if you have not signed up yet the easiest way to do it at this point honestly will be for you to join our warrior community which is available for the third time on patreon that way you're able to have automatic access and it will make it so that your workbook your manual will already be paid for up front so go ahead and sign up for that if you're not able to sign up for the february 4th dream seminar then you can go ahead and sign up for the one that we will be having on thursday february 11th the same rules and guidelines will still apply if you go ahead and sign up for our warrior community it will be available to you as well as i will also offer other um extended footage and behind the scenes and things like that so that way you'll be able to see what is gonzans with us okay okay now <laughs> outside of that i think i don't really have any other commercials i need to throw in here so i'm not gonna tarry too long because i don't want to burn my chicken too much in the oven um this tea talk that i want to bring to y'all is a tea talk that not so much recently happened but it's definitely a tea talk that we need to put on the table um for the ones that are tea talkers with me um i do leave my footprints um you know also known as comments underneath other people's videos because i'm very much interested in things that deal with enlightenment and awakening right so there was a video um i think his name was jay marvelous shout out to him i don't know if he watches my videos or whatever if he does i hope so if he doesn't i still hope so but um he has really interesting videos so i definitely recommend y'all go over there after we finish talking and y'all go see what he's talking about so happens you're elevated on that level to understand but however he brought up a really good point as to um the idea of what it is that we really put ourselves out there and and what those things are what they are for what are their purpose and i don't want to really i don't really want to rehash that tea talk in particular i want to talk about what was going on in the comments of that video i really want to talk about um the uh the comments that new fellow subscribers hola como estas have recently added themselves to our warrior community here on youtube we had a, we all had a very interesting conversation and we all had very interesting feedback that came from the comment of if so happens there uh there's a difference in your morals but yet your bank account increases there was an exchange that was made so i want to bring to y'all you know what i'm saying a tea talk uh more or less as to what is it that you're putting yourself out there like why is it you're putting yourself out there we all want to go and get whatever it is that we want we have an idea of what we want we all want to go out there and get those things that we think will be nice for us because we you know we saw them on someone else's arm or we saw flashy things um you know what i'm saying like modeled by other people and so not so much if some people may say they idolize that person having that item or that material but now it's more of a thing of you're you're focusing idolizing the material you're forgetting about the person that's actually wearing the material but you're idolizing the material so when we get to the point of you know we clock in every single day we decide that we're going to go and save our money to go and you know be able to get what we want um really just to think of us just actually like what we're thriving to want to like go and strive to do we need to talk about what it is that we really put out on the line to be able to get what we want and a lot of times people are, are willing to go to extreme measures not knowing how extreme you know what i'm saying the backlash and whatever comes off of it is going to be for them to endure so we need to talk about 
you know, what's for sale? The passion for what you're behind, you're going behind to try to get, or for the fashion of how you think you should live. A lot of times we can't even clean a one bedroom apartment, a studio loft, whatever you want to say, but yet we want mansions. How is that possible? You barely have energy for a one bedroom. But you want a thousand other bedrooms where someone else can be living on the other side of your house and you don't know it? I'll be damned. Won't be me. But we need to talk about that. Now, I don't have a lot of notes because it's literally a bookmark size of notes. But the main thing that I really wanted to uh, point out to everybody is that there's a difference in between what you're selling yourself for and what you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, compromise to to get what it is that you're striving for. A lot of what we want, we feel as if like if we were to sell out to the utmost, we'll be able to get what it is that we have in mind for ourselves. Now for our for the YouTubers out there, just imagine getting, you know, you you get into a point where literally <coughs> Excuse me, you, you know, at some point you were in love with yourself, but then being a fact of, you know, you wanted to go higher and you wanted to have a richer bank account, you decided to compromise certain things, not the things that you really don't think on an everyday basis will matter, but the things that are on an everyday mat on an everyday basis that do matter are typically the things that we seem to compromise to have someone else control to be able to gain what we want so at this point it's just like what you know what I'm saying like what's the purpose is it a purpose of you trying to get what you're what you're you know what I'm saying like chasing behind trying to catch up with which is your passion or are you just doing it for the fashion of it all because you just want the benefits the benefits are nothing once you leave this earth anybody can talk about you anybody can remember you but does it stand for something that's what we need to talk about everyone is so lost in the fame of it all but they don't understand the insanity and what they're getting themselves physical selves into you know I mean that's just the bottom line of how I see it it's just like you know I don't have to be the wealthiest because at some point you realize enough is enough for you. But then you have those people out there that want more because they feel as if like what they have will not be enough. And their biggest fear is going back broke or having, you know, having to go without. Not understanding that you can, you know, you can decrease that by you just learning how to save and live within what you have. See, everybody wants to live above their limits, but don't nobody want to put in the effort that will have to have them go beyond limitations of what they really want to do. It just reminds me of people who go in for a job interview and, you know, part of the, the, the criteria is you got to work on weekends. And they say, yeah, but really they don't. They just try not to lose what they have, so they go along with anything. But once that money starts to sit in their pocket, and they figure out six ways from Sunday how to hustle and work a part-time job or a full-time job or whatever type of job, and once they catch up, now it's a thing of, oh no, I ain't gotta work Saturdays. Well, guess what, bitch? Put your shoes on, put your clothes on. You gotta go because that was part of the requirement. People don't want to put in the do work. They don't want to put in the due diligence of doing the work. They just want what already they assume will be available to them when they are finished. Who says you'll be finished on someone else's terms if you're signing up for them to be the people to write your checks? You can't tell them when you're not coming in because they'll tell you when you don't have to come in no longer. But because people live beyond the limitations of what's in real life, that's where they mess themselves up. And then guess what? Oh, here come all the excuses. How everything's not working for you. No, you're not working for you. You're not working for you. The first step to working for yourself is you having a mindset that you're going to do what you need to do and get it done. So then that way, when it's time for you to really be up there in your suit and tie, taking your humanitarian award 25 years from now, because that's how long it takes for overnight sensation to be one, you'll be sitting up there saying, you know what? I had to touch trash when I didn't want to. I had to clean and scrub toilets and unclog them when I was in my good shit. But you know what? I'm up here getting what I rightfully deserve because the calluses that's on my hands says everything. Point blank. 
But in this time, in this decade, in this quarter, in this century, however you want to look at this generation is so fucking entitled. It's so self-entitled. Hard work, if you weren't born in the 80s, do not no longer exist. They just feel as if like everything can go on layaway. Bitch, who gonna pay it? When are you gonna come out of the mindset of being naive and being young? To reading between the fine lines to understand that regardless if it's a car, regardless if it's a bus pass, regardless if it, 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 it if it's food stamps, regardless if it's you really out here making six figures, seven figures, etc. At some point, what you call for is going to call your ass to the stand. And at some point, you're going to have to answer you're going to have to make reason a good explanation and then after that you're going to have to be able to be cool you're going to have to find a way to be subtle and okay with what it is that you decide to put your mouth on for yourself and I just don't honestly think it's worth you just completely being naked like Adam and Eve in the bush for anything that's material I be like literally y'all I, I watched this show on History Channel where these folks literally live off the land and clearly they doing well because I be seeing you know uh, 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 I just see different houses built in the background and none of them look the same so you can tell they buy their own land they buy their own land they build their own stuff and they go out there and they live off the land even biblically I think I may be paraphrasing it's out there too so you can't tell me that you can't do it I think nine times out of ten, y'all let me know down below. A lot of times, people feel as if like they want so much because they see somebody else with it. Not knowing if it's leased, rented, theirs, or nobody's. They don't know. And then when, when time comes, you know what I'm saying, to a point where it closes, you didn't find out that this person didn't embezzled and, you know, done all this fraudulent ass shit just to have all these Maseratis and Lamborghinis all in your face. They won't even willing to earn it. But they rap so hard. I've been in like little, like literally recording studios. Folks don't smoke ne'er a bit of cannabis nor tobacco, but they rap about it. I don't get it. How do you feel like you're living a full life being full of bullshit? You know what I'm saying? At some point, that got to pass. Whether it's gas or you literally got to have a movement. At some point, at some point, when does it make sense to you that when it don't feel right and it don't feel good, it's not for you to do. But people want what they want so bad that by the time they realize that all of it has come to a cost, they are, they, they're fresh out of money, they're fresh out of ideas to keep it and to keep the money and you're right back to square one like everybody else. But had you learned how to live within your means and be comfortable with what you have before you get any more, you would have avoided that whole entire lesson and you would have kept your soul, at least majority of it. I cannot imagine how celebrities from the earlier years feel now knowing that social media has make it has made it free for everybody to express themselves you sold your soul for no reason if you would had to stay with the times because even now there's old records that that've been in rotation been good music been good material and you entertain all the wickedness for what because it wasn't happening on your time. So now your time is coming past. <coughs> New people have come in. And they have completely made good music filthy. Dirty. Maybe dirtier. More wicked. And you join that force. Knowing that now in today's time and technology. You could say just about anything you want. And you did all that for what? At the end of the day, I did videos on this too. 
Whether you get over or get through it, you can still float. Even if so happens back in that time, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they couldn't even really go out and do whatever. But you still, like, that That doesn't put a cap on your writing. It doesn't put a, you know what I'm saying, a limit on how much you can continue to perfect. Now, I understand. You know, they didn't know technology is going to be like this. I get it. That's cool. But just for the ones that know that they do have those platforms, just like as the conversation went on with these fellow uh, fellow subscribers, fellow warriors, anytime you feel a decrease in who you are, you feel more misery than you do joy, but yet your bank account is increasing, <laughs> baby, baby boy, <laughs> baby girl, <laughs> there was an exchange. So just as much as you feel like you earned that money, does your body feel as if like you deserve that money? Because you did a lot just to come this little ways. If you were able to manage your money, you can live in a house that you want. If you did right by your heart, you would feel more whole. And if you understood what you were getting yourself into before you got started, the moment you saw something that did not justify itself correctly, you could have may call on it and you know a person that comes to my mind well all this columbus short columbus short everybody even including myself boy we thought his ass was six ways from sunday you know we we, we we just thought his elevator didn't go to the top but i had saw a, a interview with him and um he's way more sane than we think he is at least in that interview he was but, you know, he's not going to go against his morals. He's not going to go against his moral compass. He's not going to go against what he knows and what he understands. He's willing to take less for that. But yet he still lives a, a joyful life knowing that his soul is intact. Just think about that. Just think about that. Just think about that. You know what I'm saying? It was a really good tea talk with folks that came aboard. They understood my words. They they understood the wisdom as to where I came from with it. And nonetheless, you know, we have new folks that are in our community that feel just as much as we do. Like, you complete yourself. No queen and no king allows other people to justify who they are. When you go into that brim... That's exactly what happens. You allow someone else to take hold of who you are and what you think you're supposed to be. And so you slowly lose yourself. Because at the end of the day, who is going to tell you how you're going to be you if they're writing, their, their, writing your paychecks that big? Hell, we shut up for a small one. So if we're going to be quiet for a small one, why sit here and go through all of those unnecessary measures to gain what they have? When nine times out of ten, you can make your own and still, you know, be able to sustain and maintain more with less hands in it. But people, again, don't want to put in the work. That's just all sweet. Y'all can let me know if I'm bullshitting down below. But all I know is, if you say anything about my grandmother or you say anything about me being lazy... Those are fighting words. I don't mind putting in the work if I already know what's going to come out of it. Regardless of highways, byways, trials, and tribulations, I'm going to get to my finish line. That's what queens do. They're focused. You know, you can't penetrate what's concentrated. It, it takes long. It, it, it's long and hard. <laughs> Pause. But I'm telling you like I know. If you know anything about how you want to enjoy those things in life, just just take this with you and we can we can go on by our business, okay? And I'll see y'all next time. If you want to enjoy the things you're trying to manifest, how are you going to accomplish those things? Not who you're going to go to have help you. See, codependency comes with a tax rate as well. And I'd be damned if I pay 49.5. I'd be damned, especially if I got to do all the work. So guess what? If I'm going to put in the work, I'm going to own everything. I'm going to own everything from the production lights to the camcorders to the motherfucking shade lights. I don't care. At the end of the day, everything will be mine. So 
if I want everything to be mine, that's because I want to enjoy it. How can I enjoy it knowing that it's mine? By creating it myself, putting in that work. If you could put in all that work to be seen yourself, why is it someone else is controlling you to be who you truly just need to be whoever the hell it is that you are? It just doesn't make sense to me. But that's just me. That's just us in this community. Y'all let me know down below. You know what I'm saying? I just don't see how you're able to, you know, enjoy and be in bliss for what you worked hard for. Knowing that everybody else was a, a string to make you dance how they wanted you to. How is it you're able to enjoy the things that indeed you're able to afford? How, But, you know, how you had to get there, you had to sacrifice a lot of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, these folks didn't haul off and uh, and get, give you any sick days, any personal days to recover. They still wanted you to do whatever it is they wanted you to do through whatever you were going through. These people didn't have to sacrifice anything. So, at the end of the day... How is it I could sit in a mansion and feel as if, like, I earned all of this and it feels the same as when I was trying to imagine myself getting it? No. At some point, there was an exchange. And it's just as much as we take our morals and our ethics and we compromise them. We compromise our happiness and all of that, too. Because, trust me, I've walked into some million-dollar homes when I was married. And when I was divorced, and the feeling wasn't the same, but the motivation behind getting it, it was. So, y'all let me know about this tea talk down below. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Be sure that y'all like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Y'all let me know about my setup. I got a whole setup. I got a couple of different angles. So, I'm really, really excited, but nonetheless, I got a long day come tomorrow. Y'all be sure to love, kiss on everybody. If you are in are interested in any of our extended tea talks like i said head over to the warrior community that is available on patreon we do have multiple tiers so you know based on whatever it is that you you know you feel like you can budget wherever you are go ahead get into the um additional tea talks we have a weekly book club meeting all of our tea talk reads are to help us elevate mentally spiritually and also um Mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. <laughs> so other than that, um, shouts out to all of our new subscribers. We are now officially, um, as of right now, the 2nd of February 2021, we are at 100 subscribers, y'all. Only took us a year. We are there. I'm so thankful. I appreciate y'all. Um, until the next tea talk, y'all please be careful. Love on each other. Wash your hands, including your thumbs, bitch. And I will see y'all later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>